Okay, so I'm gonna start laying out UVs. Um, I'm gonna show a couple of tricks too. Um, so the first one is I always like to use some kind of material uh, uh, with a, a texture plugged in, a UV texture. And typically, this can be shown, let's hide that. Um, if I go over here and I look, there's the image that I've got, okay? Um, <clears throat> I kind of like this. This is the one I use professionally that I've downloaded from someplace online. Um, and then when I'm kind of goofing around, I like uh, not this one, this thing right here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, when I'm, I, I think this is kind of fun, it keeps things light. Okay. But this is the one I'm going to use here. So, here's my trick. Um, what I do is I've exported out an MA file out of Maya uh, from the Hypershade. Okay, so I've got my Hypershade over here. Um, basically, if I take this, I'm just going to, let's see, how do I do this? I can do it from here. I just drag the MA in. There is my texture. I always use the same one. Um, let's go ahead and just take this thing and I'll put it down here. Okay, I'm just um, going in and you're showing the input output connections or upstream downstream connections, whatever you want to call them anymore. Um, and it's just a Lambert and it's got a UV grid texture plugged into it. And then I also went in here and um, I think I repeated this 10 by 10. So it could accommodate larger objects. And all I have to do is basically just drag that and drop it into a scene and my I have everything lined up and ready to go. It's because I do this so much for every scene it just seemed you could probably even make it a faster shortcut than this but whatever that's what I did. So uh, oh and I was going to point out that if you just grab the network you can go and file and you can export out the, the, uh, the network and I took it out as an MA file. So that's how I created it so I can use it over and over and over and over again. Okay, Boop. and it's just a file with a material in it. So now that I've got it in here, I can go and right click on this thing and assign existing. Oh, I didn't give it a name, idiot. Um, I forgot, I, t on, I have a couple of those floating around and usually I'll name that material. I'll call it grid material. Grid underscore MTL. Boop. There you go. That's what I like to do. Um, okay, so we'll start laying out some UVs on things. You can kind of see as I come in here, well, the UVs are what the hell is going on with some of these objects, right? This one kind of squished. Um, and whoop, let's just pull up the UV editor. Now, I usually have my UV editor looking something like this, okay? Um, the UV toolkits on the side, I usually float that over on my other monitor. Um, typically, I don't use anything in here. Like, occasionally, the transform becomes handy, okay? This, this area here is really particularly handy. Um, I set this to one, and I can kind of move uh, uh, UVs layouts from Udem to Udem really quickly with just my arrow keys. Um, maybe when I'm down here, there's a texel density. If I'm trying to make sure that my UV grid is laid out evenly on all pieces, or maybe I have one straight piece that's coming in, and I want to change the texel density on it. I will use this here. Okay. Um, and what else? Occasionally, uh, this is a, I use this for searching for uh, back facing UVs and overlapping UVs. Okay, but otherwise, I've moved this over to the side because it takes up a lot of visual real estate. I don't like that. You'll see also, too, that I have a shelf right up in here. If I go to View, Custom Shelf, you can put this on. If you hold down Control uh, and Shift, you can put buttons on the shelf. So if there's something you want to use, Modify, uh, maybe the Unitize. I use that occasionally. Boop! I just pop that onto the shelf, and now i got a button. I don't like it. I can right-click and delete it. Okay? because I don't like hunting down for things in here. It takes too long. So I have the quick little shortcut buttons or um, the hotkeys with control. Actually, when I'm in here and I'm grabbing UVs, there's control, there's straighten right there, unfold. I, I can go and do, I'll do a couple of those as we go. But let's take a look at this first one. I just want to try to get this to even out as fast as I can. 
Okay. Um, actually, I should point out this button here. That first one is create UV um, through projection, camera projection. So if I hit it, boop, it just goes and resets my UVs essentially. Um, you'll see that occasionally, sometimes when you go and you extrude something, you lose uh, your UVs. So you extrude, it kind of helps fix that. There's a cylindrical projection. Those live under create, camera based, and cylindrical. I rarely use the other ones. Um, but anyway, I can kind of do this really quickly. And you can see it's wrapping around. Uh, maybe if I do this, I can kind of figure out some things. You see it's doing a really poor job on the top. If I come in and I grab these faces, there and there, and I hit them with the projection, and then I hit unfold, um, there we go. Magically almost completed what I need to do. Um, this thing that's wrapping around, the projection seems to be a bit funny. It's because of that geometry here that I've got. Um, maybe, what if I went in <coughs> and I did this so I could cut these seams a little bit differently? I'm just going to take these and I'm going to grow my selection. G, get it right there. Here, I'll hit 5 so you can see what I'm looking at, something like that. And I'm going to reproject and I'm going to unfold again. And this is going to make my unfolding process just a little bit better, I think. Okay. And let's take a look at this thing. So that's going around there. Great. Um, I might just use the UVs. By the way, if you select one UV and then you like double click on it, it grabs the whole shell. Okay, so this is handy. Um, and I'm just going to take a look. Where's the seam? The seam is right there. So I don't like that seam. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to cut it. I'll take this one from here all the way to, say, here and that one. I'll use the move and sew button. So there's cut and move and sew and merge. If I look here under cut and sew, there's cut. I do not like the sew button. Okay, the sew button acts a little bit funny. Um, I like move and sew, and it'll move one shell from or from one shell to another. It'll take the smaller one and move it to the bigger one. Okay, and that just makes my UV seam a little bit um, smoother. And I can go in here. Um, I could hit unfold. Okay, unfold, spread it right out. Um, there's also another one, shift optimize. Sometimes will give me a nice result. It's slightly different than the unfold. And if you keep hitting G, you'll get a slightly different result each time. So it's just kind of tweaking it and doing some things to it. I'm going to undo that. And another little shortcut I like is shift, right click, unfold, unfold vertically. Okay. On the UV tool shelf, that lives in unfold. Unfold along U or V. It's the same thing. Okay, it's just a little shortcut to it. And then I could probably hit optimize and see if that worked. And let's just hit uh, six so we can see those look really nice and fresh. Oh, it has such a fresh color. The, the texel density is not matching for these two pieces. Um, maybe just for the sake of showing texel density. Um, if I take a look at this piece here and I were to go into transform and I hit get, that gets me my texel density for this piece. And then I'm going to go over and grab these two pieces and I'm going to hit set. And that set the texel density. I can kind of manually do some of this stuff. And now we'll see that the grid fits pretty evenly across here. So if I'm making textures, I won't see any kind of weird, funny little line if the pixels aren't matching up exactly. Okay, like, um, particularly because these are going to be on angles. These edges are going to be on angles. This one here is going to be really straight, so it's kind of easier to match up your texels because pixels are square and then this is square and lined up. Okay, anyway, there we go. First piece done. I'm just going to delete the history on that. Okay. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go up here and look for something that's simple. I'm just going to... What time are we at? 9, 12. Um, I'll do... Yeah, this one here. Actually, this is going to be super simple. It's going to take this one. And um, let's see. This one here, you can see it's all blurry and it's not quite working out. I'm just going to hit it with the cylindrical map. Wrap it around. 
Now we've got, um, got a seam in the back here. Okay, occasionally you'll see that it'll do something funny here and I'll have like one face that's kind of off, it's fine. And um, let's see, I'm just gonna pick a seam along the top here because we can see it's kind of stretched along the top. It's something that's gonna be potentially hidden. I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna cut it. And then down here, <clears throat> take that and cut it. Also too, if you hold on shift, uh, actually not in this view over here in this one cut it's right there just depends upon my mood when i hit various ones okay so let's take a look at this we've got these two pieces here okay um i'm just gonna go and uh put on this button here this is shaded uv shells and this shows me that blue is good red is bad Hmm, I wonder if this is a political statement. Depends about which country you're in, too. Hmm, Canada and the US, different. Okay, anyway. Um, so if I take this one here and I do an unfold along V, everything is good. Okay, we see the colors are fine. If I take this one and I were to do an unfold along V, whoop, it flipped it upside down. Okay, it did that because it's inside out already. Um, I have a little uh, flip button here. Um, this is under modify, flip, and if I look at the options, it's flip horizontally. Okay, so typically side to side or horizontally, you'll see red is bad. When I hit the flip button, it flips it horizontally and it is now blue. And now when I hit unfold, the numbers say straight. Okay, I might just go and see if optimize does anything. Eh, I kind of, um, I think I like a better square, so I'm going to that piece there done okay damn it I just moved it alt shift D okay and <clears throat> I think this is gonna be the, the next easy one that I'll stop the video just so I'm making these uh, in smaller bits um, isolate it and I'll just uh, let's hit this with a cylindrical map okay and I'm looking and I think this edge right here, I'm just gonna use this as a quick way to go to faces. I'm just gonna, oh, and these are scattered all over the place because they're black and white and or they're red and blue and yeah. Um, if I go in, I'm just gonna grow the selection once and then I'll just kind of do a projection. Loop. Move that over here, I can unfold it. The unfold is under modify, unfold right down here, okay. Um, <clears throat> I might do the same thing here, grab this face and this one, double click. I'm just gonna grow that. There, I'll hit this and I'll unfold it. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Okay, see this little thing on the top here? That this thing it is indeed. Um, and you can see there's something funky over here on the top. Let's hit F. Yeah, you can see there's something happened up here. Um, do I want to make this into just like its own little separate thing? Um, maybe I'll make that into its own little separate shell to faces to faces. And I'm going to grow that and then I'll hit project. I'll hit unfold. Okay. Um, the rest of this piece here, <clears throat> I'm just going to unfold it vertically. Okay. And what about this one here? gonna unfold that vertically as well. If I unfold it along U, I might get that little, eh, it's gonna be fine the way it is. Um, what about this piece? Uh, this is underneath um, the lid here, cap, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm just gonna take, say, this one, and I'll cut that, and I'm just gonna go to UVs and see if I can pull this thing out there. Um, and I'm just going to grab the faces that are on that shell and I'll just reproject them and then unfold them. And there we go. That's another one. It's kind of done. Um, let's show one more little thing in here. <clears throat> I just want to fit them so that the textile density is all the same. Actually, this one here has got a problem. Uh, you got a problem? Um, unfold along vertically. 
there. Now it's all good. Anything else is stressed? Okay, we were showing the front and the back. There's also a stress one right here. And so the stress one, this thing, um, shows us there's a lot of stress right there. Uh, what if I go and I take this and I unfold it along U? Unfold along V? That thing's not really happy in there. What if I, um, if I take this and I cut it? And I'll just grab the uh, UV shell here and I unfold it and it goes almost round. So you know what? Let's just make it round. I'm just going to grab all those faces and hit this and then I'll hit unfold. Okay, and then what about this one? Is there something on this that I can't quite see? This thing up here, that's causing the issues? Unfold? Could very well be. It doesn't like that thing right there. Um, that's why it's all stressed out. Uh, just going to be weirder to texture. If I have to draw on this, it's going to be a pain in the ass. So this top bit, let's just go back to the way it was. Go back, unfold vertically, unfold along U, and it's just not happy. Uh, tick, 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 tick. I wonder if there's something else wrong with this that I can't see, because that feels weird. Um, you know what? I'll leave it like this. Okay, great. Because no one's going to notice. Um, now, yeah, it, it, blue is compressed and red is stretched. Okay, so I could go in here and try to make this a bit more even and things like that. But yeah, I find this might work better for what I want. Um, anyway, let's go in here and I'm just going to fit in the 0 to 1 area. And so if, mo if I go here to modify, there's layout. And in this case here, um, there's that one. And then there's this one. I'm going to show this one in a later video. I'm just going to go to Legacy, World. And I'm going to put the rotate to None. Boop. And it fits it all into the 0 to 1 area. Um, kind of something's a bit funny. Uh, it might be that it doesn't like something on here. OK. Uh, but if I go in and I turn this off, I should see that all the numbers are relatively even, and it flipped anything that was uh, having issues. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll see that there might be like an overlapping UV or something like that. So if I grab this and I hit optimize, um, that might give me a slightly different result when I hit apply. No, still not doing it. Something funky. Okay, I'll leave that alone for now and stop the video.